regarded as one of the biggest games last season, or arguably the best game played last season between the two sides. It is uh, inevitable that there's a bit of excitement this afternoon as URA Football Club, clad in the yellow and the blue shorts, welcome their visitors at Rua Hill. It ended 3-2, but in such dramatic fashion, URA led the game at halftime 2-0. And they, boy, were they hit by the fight back spirit of the Leopard, the Congolo, in red. With three second half goals, they fought back and won that game 3-2. Hello there and welcome to the Nakisunga Stadium here in, uh, where in Chetume, where URA, the home side, are taking on the team in red. And that is the Congolo, Arua Hill, in their second season in the top flight and clearly riding high. They are sixth on the log with just four games played and they are looking inside good shape. But let's look at the lineup that URA has put out there for coach Sam Timbe. Made four changes from the team that played against um, that was um, the team called Wachiso Giants. That came in the two and in favor of Wachiso Giants. And he's made the four changes, seeing Derek in the hero start in this one. And of course, we see that they have also made changes in the attack. Ibrahim Dada starts this time round as uh, the man called George Senkaba does not get the starting star shot here. Abdullah Salim also gets his start here in this game. And also will be expected to lead the line in hoping URA get a good start in this one. For Arua Hill, Richard Enyama keeps his place in goal. Considered the best goalkeeper in the season in the UPL last time round. And of course, with the defense of Gary Tendela Rashid Doha, who is the top scorer this season, the defender, leading from the back with three goals. They expect that with Rashid Kawawa at the front, Isaac Ogwang and Samuel Sekamate, who scored the brace against URA last season, they have the firepower to put the tax collectors at their own mercy. Gaddafi Wahab also there in midfield, and Gaddafi Kachanchu anchoring just in front of the back. Line. The referee this afternoon is Paul Tudiamureva, who is handling his second game thus far in the season. And in his first against, which was actually between Bull and SC Villa, that one ending in favor of Bull 1-0 in Ginger. Well, he did not give out a yellow card and uh, still yet to dish out any cards in the season so far. The Pascon sponsored Arua Hill getting final instructions from their manager. And this is uh, Livingstone Babazi giving them the last bit of instructions and exactly what they have to do. He's renewing acquaintances with his former employer as you are. And, but for Sam Timbe with the cap right there, he is in many people's regard a dead man walking. Six games played and you are have only won once. And uh, that's not a form of a champion. Patrick Imboa, who will be considered one of their star men, the defender, he will be expected to show up at the back because it has not looked good for them. They have already considered six goals and only scored eight. So a goal difference of two is not looking good. But they come before the storm for Livingstone in Babazi as he watches on to see how his players apply themselves in their fifth game of the season here at the Nachisuga Stadium in Chetume. John Vianen Sibe, I'm going to be your commentator. And we are live here on Sanyuka Prime, your new home of the Uganda Premier League, where stars are being built as we continue to wait for that kickoff whistle from the referee Paul Tuliamuhewa. And yes, we are underway. And um, Arua Hill get us underway here. And they will be expected with their rich vein of form to be the favorites coming into this game. And they get off to a good start. And if, an attempt there from uh, Samuel Sekamate, the former striker of Bright Stars and KCC Football Club. He's got a very good left foot there. And um, sends out warning bells to this URA side, reminding them of what he did to them last time round with those two goals that he scored in the fight back exploit from Arua Hill. Rashid Kawawa here. And the ball is taken away by uh, Saidi Cheyune. And the foul there on um, Abdallah Salim, the former AC Villa man, scored three goals for AC Villa last time round. And um, the reason why he was bought by URF is because of uh, the ingenuity that he can bring to the side. And as he gets uh, to start this time round, that's not something that he's had in previous encounters. We'll be hoping 
to have a good start to this game as uh, he attempts there, but um, not the kind of shot that is going to test the goalkeeper Richard Anyama in um, the Arua Hills goal. Arua Hill boasting of uh, such a splendid start, you could say, beating KCC 3-1. That was a huge result in their opening day fixture. They went ahead to beat Maroons as well, 3-1. So they're in really some good form, and they come into this game you know, riding with um, a lot of confidence. But of course, uh, URA also pose um, a different kind of preposition, and also the fact that they have been injured so many times in their six games. They've already lost three times. The last one, they lost against um, Wakiso Giants. They'll be desperate to get back to winning ways with only one win and that one coming against them um, in the relegation zone, Usoka United. Now, for the king, you are a management. This is um, not the start they'll be doing for their side. Looking at the kind of investment that they've made over the years and even um, during the off season. It's not been a good start, and for the coach, some team Bay with a lot of experience, bundles of experience, won the league one, with um, one, SC Villa one. in 2004, quite a long time ago, you could say. It has won a number of trophies in the region, the Sekafa Championship, one, SC Villa, the Sekafa Championship, also in Rwanda with Atraco, so he's got a lot of experience to be able to inspire this URA side as um, a few more shot set out there by uh, Rashid Toha, the captain of um, Arua Hill to knock the ball around quite confidently and a good pass into the box to find Rashid Kawa who tries to square it but um, blocked away by uh, Najib Fesali who are a centre back puts the ball into touch and it will be the first corner kick for Arua Hill just under three minutes as we hear the host voice of um, the URA captain and goalkeeper Nafian Alionzi Waste the delivery coming in from Wahab Gaddafi and it's overheat here. Goes straight into touch. And I'm sure that for his coach here, Living Soti Babasi, he'll be hoping that he um, can um, deliver a better ball than that one. Gaddafi Kachanchi plays it on the outside to find Richard Matovu. Then Gaddafi Wahab. Poorly passes that ball back straight to URA, who clearly aligns the Jim Fesali. URA still struggling to get control of the ball as um, Alua Hill seem to be in the ascendance here, but they lose position and on to the Bansen banner is uh, Vianney Sekajugov plays it to his teammate here, and that is uh, Ibrahim Dada. But um, by the time Ibrahim Dada responded with a return pass, then the second two went straight offside and began. So no reason for continuing with the run. Gaddafi here. You can see Ibrahim Dada just forced to control that ball and the ball is cleared away by Alan Mugalu. Still doesn't get into touch until Rashid Toha, the captain. Goals comes up here to put it into touch. Not about to take any chances here as um, you are a get the throw in but there's an incident here it appears as um, the referee makes a trot down the pitch to try and check on um attendere geriga who seems to be in some excruciating pain here it appears like uh, the earlier incident as he tried to pull pull the ball back he was clipped by the heel and um, seemed to have taken a kick there to the heel and uh, he's struggling to get back to his feet Yesterday was another dramatic game in Wankulukuku involving um, SC Villa and uh, Wakiso Giants. And according to the doctor here, it seems like Attendere Geriga will not be able to continue. Sam Timbe in the pink trying to give out instructions to his players, direct them. His last game here, their last home game, which was against Bright Stars, they led 2-0. And in the last minutes, they considered two goals. One was very late by um, Toki. And here comes a cross here coming in now from Derek Ndahiro. Not a good one by any stretch of the imagination. The former Villa man will be expected to do better because he surely can. Attended a Geriga is already going to be substituted and Paul Musamali will be 
substituted here. Yeah? I wonder how the changes are going to be made because um, Paul Musamali is left footed. Don't expect him to be playing on the right side when he's left footed. Probably make a switch in the middle and uh, Rashid Muhammad will come to right back while Paul Musamali will partner the captain Rashid Toha. Well, he starts out at right back. I'll be interested to see how he plays there, playing off his left foot on the right side. It's not very common to see a left footer playing at right back. Derek Ndahiro passes it to Nas Najib Fesali, who tries to play a long ball to find um, Living Carbon. Formerly a teammate with Rashid Toha at Ondu Paraka. Derek Ndahiro, Living Carbon with a 1 2, but then. Derek Indaro fails to co control that. Confirmation of the substitution there in just six minutes. Arua Hill get um, one of their main men, the right back, Gary Gatendere, injured and he's substituted and Paul Musamari comes in. Paul Musamari appears, will be sticking, will be playing at right back and uh, Richard Anyama pushing his teammates uh, to squeeze in and uh, wait for his delivery. It's a long clearance here, but headed out by Hood Moliki. One of the longest servants of a URA football club. And the foul there by leaving Kabon on uh, Rashid Doha. Well, you could consider it um, metaphorically as a, a David versus Goliath incident here. Living Kabon taking out Rashid Doha and Rashid Doha asking him why he had to do that. but. I guess it's one of those uh, incidents that uh, will be sorted very quickly considering the closeness that they have. Both of them played for Onduparaka Football Club and uh, got uh, some real acquaintance. And poor clearance here by Paul Boa, but saved by his teammate here, Hood Muliki. Salim Abdallah tries to play the ball long, but then just doesn't get to its intended destination. Good Moliki, good passing range here, but then he plays it uh, to Musamali Paul, who in the, in the process as he tried to control the ball, fall down, uh, leaving Kabon. Salim Abdallah, leaving Kabon, tries to shoot there, but um, the ball is checked there, or rather, leaving Kabon is checked there by um, Augustine Kachanchu Gaddafi. Be a difficult one for the goalkeeper there to stop there, Richard Anyama. Kachanchu, square ball to find Richard Matovu, plays it back to Kachanchu, formerly with Bright Stars, the team that um, took a point off um, URA here and a good pass at fine. Sekamate tries to play it over the goalkeeper, still in, and but then the, the referee adjudges it to have crossed the line into touch and it to be a corner kick for. Arua Hill and the coach here, Livingstone Babazi, so animated he normally is and he's not happy about um, what his players are doing out there. I don't know whether it is um, Sekamate Samuel that displeased him there and he felt that he should have done better and Sekamate just uh, throws a glance at the coach there. Second corner kick for Arua Hill. Ten minutes played here. A well delivered cross here by uh, Gaddafi Wahab and uh, Rashid Muhammad. Tried to nod that ball into the back of the net, but um, well taken away by the goalkeeper, Nafia Nalionzi. And he clears that free kick again, but you feel that um, it's not giving uh, URA the advantage that they want because of um, the fact that the balls just keep heading back to Arua Hill. Who we'll continue to pass a very aggressive play there coming in from Hudu Maliki on uh, Kachanchu. And it's going to be a free kick to Arua Hill. He gets a word from um, the referee here who doesn't seem to be happy about his aggressive play there. Hudu Maliki. He's got to be careful because um, he doesn't want to get into the bad books of the referee so early because it can always uh, affect his game. Richard Matovu could cross into the box and then it's taken away by Derek Ndahiro. Saidi Cheyune, Crane's International carrying that midfield and then he plays the ball there to Begisa who is fouled and um, it's going to be the first yellow card to Richard Matovu who pleads his case telling the referee Paul to Riyamohewa that it was the first foul. Well, it depends on that the kind of foul that you've committed. It may be the first but if it's one that is stopping a good attack then um, and also the kind of um, foul it is 
As confirmation, Richard Matovu gets the first yellow card in this game, 11 minutes played. And now that means that um, he's going to play this game with a lot of caution. Otherwise, any other mistake will mean that it is an early bath for Richard Matovu. Free kick for URA Football Club, who are yet to get a stranglehold of this game, despite being the home side, head up by Pom Samali. Alan Mugalu, and then the referee knows his whistle for a foul by Alan Mugalu, quite suspicious. Not very clear what he did there. Actually, it was Isaac Ogwang. Not very clear what offense Isaac Ogwang committed there. According to the referee, he appears to have um, committed something, but um, not very clear for your commentator. Free kick for URA. Derek Indahiro standing over it, but Saidi Chayunet delivers a good one on the far side for Boa and then the headed rebound there coming in now from uh, Fesali but uh, couldn't connect and it's cleared away by Arua Hill and Richard Matovu plays it into space to find the on running Samuel Sekamate but uh, he's beaten to the ball by Hudu Muliki who takes it away back into the Arua Hill defense but they get control of the ball and uh, Richard Matovu could control picks it out but then doesn't pass it well to find Sekamate and still URA Saidi Chayune. Salim Abdallah finds Living Capone with the Cryf turn there, but he is fouled as he made that foul. And Toha, will he survive a yellow card? It seems to be a bit of aggressive play. And uh, Living Capone seems to have been clipped on the ankle there. And you can see the pain is in. And he will be very fortunate, Rashid Toha, because he was sliding in. And that was dangerous play. And he should consider himself a fortunate man here, Rashid Toha that he's not got himself booked for that because um, he got off his feet and he was sliding in and under normal circumstances, he should be getting a card for that. But um, he should consider himself a fortunate man here, Rashid Toha, because sliding in off your feet because his feet were off the ground and uh, he took out Living Carbon. This is the kind of foul that can um, easily end the career of a player. 14 minutes played here at Nachisunga. The fans continue to trickle in but yet to create the atmosphere that you are in need as a home side to feel that um, they have the fans behind them and also to feel the encouragement that they need to put um, Arua Hill on the back foot. So you can say that uh, with the breeze blowing around and a bit of the cloud cover, without so much of an ambience, Arua Hill will feel that um, they're in such comfortable territory, nothing to intimidate them. Saidi Chayune trying to position that ball, yet to get off the mark this season. But rest assured that he is going to give this a go. And for the goalkeeper, Richard Enyama, he has got to be steady to ensure that um, he watches the flight of this ball particularly if it gets over the wall and Saidi Chene keeps it low but then it's cleared away by Richard Matovu and Dada Ibrahim tries to control it but he couldn't and um, instead it comes off him as um, Alan rather Gaddafi Wahab tried to clear it. Richard Anyama was at the receiving end of uh, two quick fire goals in the first half last time round at um, the Barifa Stadium goal scored by uh, Chrome Royal Rothomio, who since joined uh, Vipers as we watch Vianney Sekajugo provides a cross, but a poor one it is. And the ball is into touch. And uh, for Vianney Sekajugo, a former player with Onduparaka Football Club, he will know that he needs to do a lot better than that. He's yet to really get off to a flyer this season. He's also struggled in the previous game against um, Wakiso Jansu was substituted in the second half in another game that you could see, you could clearly say that um, he didn't have the kind of impact that is expected of a player that was once considered one of the best in the country between 2018 and 2019. Derek Dahiro, flamboyant, plays the ball over the top to find Vianney Sekajugo, but he can he beat Toha? No. Toha very quick off the blocks, very quick off his feet, and then he jumps up to knock the ball into touch quarter of an hour gone in this game at Nachisunga. And yet we are yet to see the goalkeepers being forced into any sort of save from the two sides. But 
from the balance of play. Arua Hill have appeared to be the better side. Rashid Kawa loses his footing again. There seem to be players slipping. I don't know whether the ground is so wet there after the night pour. And somehow they just cannot keep on their feet. James Begisa with the throw in. But then it's taken into touch here by Richard Matovu of Arua Hill. 0-0 zero, zero, the scoreline remains. But not the kind of scoreline that the URA faithful expect this afternoon. The team has already played six games this season. They've lost three, won only once and drawn two. Very good pass here comes Salim Al Abdallah. Then it's into the net, but then is it full kept out? Oh, there's an offside there. You just don't understand what Vianne Sekajugo was doing there. He should have run off and let the ball get into the back of the net and not show any intention to get to the ball. He's just um, denied his side what should have been the opening goal. Very good play coming in there from James Pegisa. Good combination with Salim Abdallah, who played the ball into space for the on-running Ibrahim Dada, who directed it towards goal. And it was very close to being goal number one, had it not found Vianne Sakajugo trying to control it, to put it in the back of the net. I can tell you, you are a, somehow things just don't seem to be working out well for them an opportunity that you feel that should have given them the lead they seem to self-destruct and Vianney Sekajugo will not be happy with himself after that kind of uh, intervention you just don't understand what he was doing there he should have let the ball just get into the back of the net and just um, run across goal not to try and intercept it it remains 0-0 great escape for Arua Hill who are now in the ascendancy Sekamate he plays to Gaddafi Wahab again, who loses possession. And URA now on the attack. Saidi Chayune squares it to, to find Vianney Sekajugo. Saidi saying you can't control it. Abdallah! Why well, Juma Ibrahim Dada just uh, couldn't connect very well. Hits the ball into the crossbar, but then he had already strayed offside and it is going to remain goalless. But two good chances for URA where you'd have expected them to have the lead. They don't seem to have the right parameters that they should be following. They just can't keep their line and they're wasting good opportunities to take the lead here. Those are two good chances, but those are warning signs for Arua Hill that they need to defend better because they're not looking smart and steady. They need to defend better Arua Hill because they're creating openings for URA Football Club. There seems to be some bit of clumsiness and um, lack of concentration in that Arua Hill defense because the gaps that are being found by URA each time they go on the onslaught and not something that uh, for Coach Livingston Mbabazi will be pleased by. 20 minutes played thus far here in Nachisunga. URA Football Club nil, Arua Hill nil. URA seeking their second victory of the season and boy do they need it for a team that starts the season as one of the favorites to win the league this is not the kind of start that um, can be acceptable for the fraternity of URA again Arua Hill Rashid Kawal loses possession they just don't seem to get the ball sticking onto their feet Arua Hill they're struggling to keep position and they're giving the ball away and it is in such moments that um, URA will definitely pounce and punish them. Again, they lose the ball and a foul on um, Ibrahim Dada. Foul committed again by uh, Alwa Hill. Looking at the replay here, and a foul committed by Paul Musamali, who is playing in such an unfamiliar position. A left back playing at right back. I wonder how much discomfort he's feeling already. And, uh, don't understand why Coach Livingston Babas has not made the change to switch Rashid Mohammed. And then there's a tap there coming in from um, Salim Abdallah. Just couldn't connect. And uh, the goalkeeper Richard Anyama punches it as uh, Arua Hill tried to build again from the back. Kachanchu. And uh, again, the ball is lost by Samuel Kayongo Sekamate of Arua Hill. 
he will get his coach here, Livingstone Babazi ranting. I can tell you, with that kind of um, poor ball possession, and or rather for poor ball retention that he's be that is exhibiting here, instead giving the ball back to the opponent and um, subjecting his team to pressure, as uh, you can see, Livingstone Babazi is always animated, always emotional, always fired up does that throughout the 90 minutes you just wonder how much energy he expends when he's jumping up and down you get a feeling that it's almost the same amount of energy that his players use when they're running up and down on the field in his playing days living so Babazi, one of um, the best midfielders in his generation between the mid 1990s the late 2000s, late early 2000s, 2007, 2005 was one of the best midfielders that uh, this country has had, but didn't play enough for the national team for matters to be discussed another day. And here is uh, the captain, Rashidoa of Arua Hill, who seems to have got off worse there in um, a collision with the URA player as they went up for the ball. Feels like um, got a bit of an impact there on his forehead as he uh, continues to cool off. The URA fans here, not in the big numbers as we used to see them previously while they played in Indeje. You wonder whether it has everything to do also with the way the team has started this season. Match day seven for them, and uh, they're lounging really down there on the log, not in the kind of position that for their fans would be expecting. Just five points they have collected this season, five points, which is uh, basically four points ahead of uh, the bottom place team on the Paraka Football Club, so that's not the kind of return that their fans uh, will feel uh, is merited. 23 minutes played here at Nachisunga. You are a nil, Arua Hill nil. You are a now gaining more of the momentum and uh, seemingly taking charge of this game. They did have a good start to it in the first 10 minutes. They seem to struggle. But now they're trying to get into the ascendancy. Although one could say that they can still do a lot better. And then the foul there by Living Carbon. Not be happy about that referee whistle going out and you can see the expression on his face disappointed that um, the whistle had to go there there seems to be a lot of ping pong here as uh, the two sides clear the ball the ball yet to settle on the ground here but Richard Matovo keeps it down but then poor pass intercepted by Salim Abdallah and it goes into touch throw in for Arua Hill need this for a bit of reprieve because um, a short while ago they were under the coach here as URA created some two beautiful chances that um, you feel they should have made count but somehow they self-destructed Derek Ndahiro plays it with his right foot onto the inside to find a living carbon and it gets off him into touch and it's a throw in for Arua Hill Almost, I mean, he doesn't seem to be any sense of urgency to get to that ball. And then finally, play resumes here. And then there's a foul there on uh, Isaac Ogwang of Barua Hill. As he renews acquaintances with his former teammate at SC Villa, Derek Indahiro. That should be an interesting encounter between the two this afternoon. They played together for a full season. That was. Um, 2019-2020 season before Derek Indahiro moved on. Was that 2020-2021? It was for Derek Indahiro moved on to URA and then also Isaac Ogwango, so who scored four goals for Villa last season. One of the club's top scorers moved on to what he considers greener pastures. Arua Hill, who finished much higher than um, yes, Villa last season. Saidi Cheyune plays it to Vianney Sekajugo on the inside to find Living Carbon. He makes a turn to the inside, finds Ibrahim Dada. 
and then he plays it for a one-two to find living carbon but then he cannot control it and it goes into touch again you are a continue to struggle when they get into the final third maintaining possession retaining the ball seems to be a bit of um, a hassle for them and um, that is something that you feel for Arua Hill, they'll be thankful that uh, you are uh, struggling to get into any sort of rhythm. But a good back heel coming in from Salim Abdallah. Brilliant play. John James Magisa tries to get to the ball, but he couldn't. It's cleared away by Richard Matovu of Arua Hill. And then there is a foul by Sekamate. Free kick, you are a football club. And as we close nearer to the half hour mark in this game with no goals in the game thus far. And then, again a push by Living Carbon on Gaddafi Kachanchu and he continues uh, to plead his innocence. He just doesn't feel that the referee is just to him. But well, the referee has the final word here. Sam Timbe, winner of the Sekafa Championship numerous times. Once with S. Villa, once also with the um, Police Football Club in 2006, and then also with uh, Atraco, and then making the darting run and James Wigisa from the byline, and then Juma Ibrahim said, oh, that was a good rebound there coming in from Saidi Cheyune, as um, Ibrahim Dada tried to nod the ball goalwards, but then it just didn't get the direction it needed, but it fell kindly at the feet of uh, this man here, Saidi Cheyune, but he couldn't connect and instead played it over and wide and they still get a Rua Hill of the hook URA have had the better chances in this game three good chances you could say but they have not been able to capitalize and uh, you wonder whether they are not going to pay the price for that because um, you keep missing such chances and when a Rua Hill get one you wonder whether they will be profligate as uh, URA have appeared this afternoon there's an injury here to Arua Hills, Rashid Kawawa. One of the team's top goal scorers last season. He's already scored twice this season in the league. And he scored seven for them last time round. For a midfielder, that was a good return. He seemed to have a very good second round in the Uganda Premier League last time round. He started off in the same vein of form this season. They wouldn't want to see him walk off this alley because of the goal threat that he poses here. We look at the replay here as he was going in. Well, I don't think they, he was hurt on the head. Instead, the flailing leg of um, Paul Boa just um, got him by the ankle. And that's where the pain seems to be emanating from at this particular juncture. 30 minutes on the clock. You are a nil, Arua Hill nil. I'm sure for the fans back home in Arua, they must be glued to Sanyuka Prime at this particular moment. Watching this game with a lot of enthusiasm, but also expectation that their team, who have been in a good vein of form, can get one over URA as well. first two home games were all th three goal scoreline victories one against Maroons and the other against KCC Football Club now what can they do on the road as we watch Gaddafi Wahab deliver this free kick and then straight into the hands of uh, the goalkeeper Nafian Alionzi who smothered it quite comfortably Nothing to cause concern for the URA fans or even the technical bench here. Great defending here coming in from Paul Musamali. Formerly a player of SC Villa. Last season, played his trade for, with Gaddafi Football Club. But he also played for KCCA in that successful time of KCCA Football Club. And Ibrahim Dada again, trying to glance that ball, but again didn't get the touch that he wanted onto it. And then it ends up into touch. And it will be a goal kick for you, or rather, Arua Hills Football Club. The game seems to be at such a low tempo. You'd hope that uh, 
for, for it to get more dramatic and more exciting. These teams have got to raise the level at which they are playing. They seem to be playing like they're just checking each other out, like a, a chess game where they're just waiting for the next move of the opponent. Rashid Kawawat tries to deliver the ball in and who does it get to, but then um, Alan Mugalu tried to dart in, rather Isaac Ogwang from the blind side was caught offside and it's going to be a free kick to URA Football Club. The 2020-21 season URA just lost the league championship by just one point behind Express Football Club. But they feel that they had every chance of winning that championship had it not been for the COVID-19 pandemic that led to the suspension of the league at the time with four games left to play at the time. URA felt that uh, with the kind of title running that they had, they had the easier games and they feel that uh, they were hard done at the time. And they were denied what they feel should have been their championship. But since then, Sam Simba, who was the coach, has left. But his departure has coincided with the decline of this side as well who last won the championship in 2011. But Saidi Cheyune about to deliver, delivers it in, but comes very close. But Richard Anyama gets a touch onto it, not about to take any chances as the ball seems to be headed to the top right corner of Richard Anyama's goal. And uh, for the goalkeeper, he is best goalkeeper last season in the Uganda Premier League. He probably has his wits around his goal area and he knows exactly how not to take chances. Gonna kick for your a football club. Saidi Cheyune, he delivers it in, but quite close, it's cleared away by Gaddafi Kachanchu of um, Arua Hill. Not a difficult one to handle, I feel that Saidi Cheyune needs to deliver those corner kicks that create some bit of havoc in that penalty area. Derek Indahiro with his weaker right foot tries to cross it in, but he's sent it away by Richard Matovu into touch. Corner kick URA who continue to pile on the pressure with 33 minutes left in the rather 33 minutes played thus far. 12 minutes left on the clock. Levin Carbon about to deliver this one. He scored against Arua Hill last season in that dramatic game that ended 3-2 in favor of Arua Hill. He delivers it well, but Faisal couldn't connect. But um, Salim Abdallah still keeps it in play. And then he dribbles past um, Musamali, but then he's fouled. That was Isaac Ogwang, his former teammate at Esivilla. Together they played last season. And uh, he knows the danger that is posed there by Salim Abdallah. After that slalom there, he beats him the sidestep. And uh, clearly he had no option but to try and stand in the way of Salim Abdallah and block his path. But it will be a free kick to URA. Good play coming in from URA and Salim Abdallah in particular. Richard Anyama under pressure here to ensure that he positions his defense well enough. Derek in the hero delivery couldn't be made by any URA player. Salim Abdullah still gets it. Dada Ibrahim just couldn't connect. Saidi Amisi, rather Saidi Cheyune. And a shot there coming in from uh, Hood Mulichi. But then just um, over and wide did test the goalkeeper straight into touch. URA clearly need to test the goalkeeper with their attempts there. But with so many wayward shots that have been seen in this first half, they will need to improve. Salim Abdallah, good pass there to find Saidi Chayne, but just didn't treat the move well enough. And the ball is back in possession for Arua Hill, but there's a foul by Salim Abdallah on Alan Mugalu, free kick. Arua Hill, and he gets um, an earful from uh, the referee, Paul Turiyam Hewa, who has only dished out one yellow card in this game. Incidentally, his first yellow card this season in his second game in charge. Arua Hill will have Gaddafi, but then well taken up. Good pick there coming in from Nafian Alyonzi, Uganda Cranes Chan goalkeeper. And uh, you could say 
arguably the best goalkeeper in the league today. It was quite a close contest last season between him and Enyama on who was the best goalkeeper, but Enyama just edged him on um, the one extra clean sheet. Saidi Chayune again, poor pass there. Samari Paul trying to get the ball onto his left foot. Clearly uncomfortable playing on the right side for a left footer. And he is struggling. We haven't seen him even make any marauding runs that uh, you would expect from a full back. And you can see Paul Musamali giving uh, Vianeseka Jugo a rollicking that he's diving. Telling him, stay on your feet, boy. But Paul Musamali clearly struggling playing on the right side as uh, a left footer. And he continues his altercation here with uh, Vianeseka Jugo. But he Gets a call from the referee to calm down. And definitely he will need to calm down because the referee is in charge of uh, stemming any indecent play or any simulation. It's not your job, Paul somebody here. The free kick is about to be delivered by URA, most likely Saidi Chayne. And the intention is to play it on the far side to try and stretch this Arua Hills defense. Or will it be Derek Indahiro? played on the far side to find Ibrahim that died was after Patrick Mboa and then Cabo leaving Derek Indahiro trying with his weaker right foot but um, the volley just um, did not um, get mastered as well as he would have wanted the ball gets into touch eight minutes to the end of the first half you are a football club Neil Arua Hill Neil still waiting the first goal but also still waiting to see the game really get into life it still appears like um, a chess game here where every move is being calculated and all that the teams are yet to really open up to try and um, just go for the onslaught here Alan Mukalu trying to get his way past that URA defense of Derek Indahiro and Saidi Chayne but he loses possession. Yet to see any impact coming from um, the midfielder Alan Mugalu. On his day he can be tantalizing with those runs and also those passes in behind the defense. As Nafi and Alionzi prepares uh, to take the free kick for URA. Even Kabon trying to get to the ball but clearly inhibited. Just couldn't compete with um, the taller players as Richard Matovu or Gaddafi Wahab. I think that these teams could be able to play on this ground. This ground allows teams to play, but there's a lot of long balls being played by the two teams. I just don't seem to be sure about um, keeping the ball on the ground. And again, Vianney Sekajugo loses possession performances that his coach sent him out to exhibit he's got to be playing better than that he's got to be using the ball better but each time that he gets it he just plays it back to the opponent and for an attacking player from whom goals are expected from whom chances are expected that is not the kind of performance that you expect from him he's got to get to play a lot better than he is doing is a player that has played for the national team before he's played at the Chan 2021. So he's got to be showing us a lot more in terms of um, the experience that he's garnered over the years. And there comes the attacker coming in from um, Arua Hill. But again, they lose it. Alan Mugalu, Salim Abdallah, good play there. Picks the ball just right outside his penalty area and finds uh, Vianne Sekajugo, plays it on to Living Carbon squares it into the penalty area, but nobody to meet it here for URA. Again, they need to flood that area if they are to. Uh, Capitalize on squaring chances that are being created by Living Carbon. You are a you feel that uh, that's another lost opportunity. Good play coming in there from uh, Living Carbon. Squared the ball quite precisely and in the area where you feel that there should be somebody making a late run into that penalty area. But um, it appears like the URA players are more dedicated to defending than flooding that penalty area, and it's going to be difficult for them to get a goal if they cannot get into that penalty area in numbers. It's a numbers game. Somebody Paul plays it to find um, 
Wang Isaac makes a cut back here. And then still, he overplays it and you are a clear their lines. Rashid Toha plays it on the inside. Is that a foul on Wahab? Gaddafi, no, he just lost his footing, leaving Kabon. Salim Abdallah, good play on the far side to find John Begisak, but can he keep it from going out? Yes, he does. John Begisak comes back and um, continues the attack, weighing his options, but then he delays so much. He was so ponderous there, and he lost the possession. And Fesali thinks of going to the right, then, but then returns to the left, finds um, Derek Dahiro. Plays it on the far side with a weaker foot to find Salim Abdallah, the former teammate at SC Villa. They have been reunited. Saidi Cheyune crosses delightfully here, but then the ball goes into touch. That ball was overplayed by um, Saidi Cheyune, but good attacking phase there by URF Football Club with just the three minutes left in this first half. And if they can maintain this kind of play, they will keep this man, Livingston Babaji, on tenterhooks and unsettled. He's surely not happy about the way his team is allowing URA to create chances here at the Nakisunga ground in Chetume. Alan Mugalu. We yet to see the best of him in this game, but he is fouled here, and uh, the referee doesn't hesitate to blow his whistle. Free kick to Arua Hill. They've only got one shot on target in this first half, Arua Hill. They'll need to master more if uh, they are to take all the three points in this game. Gaddafi Wahab to deliver the free kick. Expected to be an in swinger, but one that should be played just right behind the defenders there. He does that exactly, but nobody meets it. And instead, Fesali, the URA defender, meets it and um, clears his lines. The opportunity for a rebound for Rashid Kawawa was uh, clearly unconvincing. He didn't uh, play the ball there with conviction. Saidi Chene finds uh, Ibrahim Dada. And then it dribbles past two, plays it to find Living Carbon. And again, Living Carbon just uh, doesn't get to the ball. And then he gets himself injured in the process. His flailing leg caught into contact with Rashid Toha's knee. Boa just puts the ball out into touch for URA to save the day here. As uh, clearly you could see Isaac Ogwang was making the run for it, trying to get another goal to make it two to his name this season. Good defending coming in from Patrick Boa. One minute left in the first half here in Nachisunga. And it remains you are a nil. And the team from Arua, Arua Hill, nil. Some team they will probably feel that um, his side has uh, done a lot better than they did against um, Wakiso Jans. By this time, you're already a goal down. And um, but this time, you feel that uh, they played. Um, better than they did last time round at the Kabaka Chavagu. Toha tries to, to, to defend that ball but then, then he loses it to Vianne Sakajuku who squares it but not well enough and instead it's played into touch. Good defending there coming in from um, Rashid Mohamed who serves his captain who went in lounging to get um, Vianne Sakajugo, his former teammate and Ondu Paraka who left him for dead but then the square ball was also not good enough by Vianne Sekajugo because you feel that there was a gaping hole. He should have continued to enter that penalty area and um, size up his options, something that you feel he should have done. That was a good opportunity for URA Football Club to take the lead right at the stroke of halftime. And a corner kick, Saidi Chayune finds Zimboa on the far end, tries to cross it in, but then ricochets off uh, an Arua Hill defender and they clear their lines. Isaac Ogwang plays it over the top to find Rashid Kawa. Will he keep it into play? No, he doesn't. Goes into touch and it's going to be a throw in for Arua Hill. Two minutes added on to this game by the referee Paul Turiam Hebwa. Two minutes of added time and we've already seen one minute gone. Richard Matovu tries to cross the ball into the penalty and Fesali tries to go for that bicycle kick to clear it away, but um, he totally missed it. But he's saved by his uh, teammate there, Derek Indahiro, who plays it into touch. Sam Timbe 
just uh, not looking really content and happy about uh, proceedings. But he'll probably take the draw as it stands right now at half time. Try to give out fresh instructions on how his players um, need to improve because you feel that in the first half they've had the better chances, but then they have not shown the confidence, they have not played with the conviction of getting into that penalty area. You can see that you are a football club, even though you could say that they've played better than Arua Hill, the lack of conviction appears um, to be derailing them. And that is why they have not uh, been potent enough in that penalty area. And then a poor throw coming in from Paul Mosamali. As the con clock continues to tick away in added time. Poor cleared here. And then an attempt here coming in now uh, from uh, Mugalu. But then poorly hit. But then Isaac Ogwang tries to pick it up. And again, his pass is blocked here by um, James Begisa. Alan Mugalu, and of course, that marks the end of the first half here in Nachisunga between URA Football Club, the home side, and Arua Hill, with both sides yet to hit the back of the net. This man here, Richard Anyama, has uh, largely been on holiday, not been tested that much, despite the fact that URA Football Club has got the chances. Salim Abdallah has looked quite bright in that midfield, trying to create chances, which he has done and which is his major responsibility. But um, his forward teammates have really not been sharp. For this man here, Livingston Mbabazi, the coach of Arua Hill, he's, as usual, been animated. Nafian Alionzi has only had one shot on target to save coming in from Arua Hill. And also, you feel that he's been largely untested. For Arua Hill, they will definitely need to improve because you feel they've been second best in this first half. And for URA Football Club, the home side, who have only won once this season in their second, in their sixth league games, they will feel that they need to do a lot better than they have, especially when they go into the final third. From the Nachisunga at halftime, URA nil, Arua Hill Sports Club nil.